Conversion Nation, welcome. How is everyone today? Uh, here we are, February 14th. I uh, certainly want to wish everyone a wonderful Valentine's Day around the world. It's, uh, it's a great holiday to, to celebrate and certainly wish everyone a, a great day. I'm here with a, a really important announcement. And, you know, back in 2001, when Convergent was founded and we had our 10 values and beliefs, you know, Convergent was benefited by the fact that for the next decade, Dan and Greg led the company. And then uh, in 2014, I was fortunate enough to be able to join Convergence. And now for the past decade, uh, we've done some amazing things together. Uh, but a year and a half ago, I went to our board and, and let them know that I thought that now or you know, coming up at that point uh, was the, time, the right time to make a change and that we needed a CEO that would, for the next decade, take Convergent and reach new heights. And, I'm here today uh, with thrilled to announce that we, uh, Convergent, has a new CEO, and with me today is Ann Findosi. Ann, welcome. Welcome Thank to Convergent. Thank you so much, Ken. I so love being here. So excited to have you here. Let me, um, before, you know, I'm going to have you talk about yourself and introduce yourself and your background. Let me just share a little bit about the process. You know, as I mentioned, a year and a half ago, I went to the board and said, hey, we need to, you know, time to make a change. Let's do this while the company is in great shape. You know, there's, we're, we have plenty of time to do it. There was no rush. We took uh, over a year for the search, right, and talked to a lot of people, and we were very fortunate to have uh, you come across and be introduced to you. I met you for the first time, actually, it was September 28th of last year in New York City. It was, uh, uh, it was, we, were, we had a great discussion. We were supposed to talk for an hour, and I think it was like two or three hours later, we, uh, sure. we both had to leave and, and get on to other meetings. But... Um, when we started the search, we knew that we had to find someone that un, at first and foremost understood the convergent culture and the importance of culture in an organization. And while Anne, I'm sure, will never say that she knew the culture, she's here to learn it, right? But she came from organizations that where culture was all powerful and that was critical to us. And uh, while she'll describe herself as a geeky engineer, I think her technology background will serve us incredibly well and, and I'll let her share a little bit more about that. We did, though, you know, we, we spent the time and we wanted to make sure that, you know, with such an important decision and the fact that the company has benefited from great consistency, not just consistency of leadership, consistency of culture, consistency of our strategies, you know, when, when we, we, that has allowed us to stay focused and set long-term goals that we've gone out and achieved time after time after time. So, and if you would, you know, could you just spend a little bit of time giving everyone a little bit of, about who you are and, and your background and, and what you like and things like that? I, I hope not to bore everyone, so I'll take I'm a sure little won't. bit of time. Uh, as Ken said, I'm a self-described uh, geeky engineer. Uh, so I have a bachelor's in computer engineering from the dark ages, mm -hmm. the, you know, when they were just starting. Uh, and then a master's in systems engineering. I started as an engineer in aerospace with you Lockheed know Dan Martin. Dan still has his abacus, though. Right? I, so I, let's you're, go. You're a little bit let's further go. ahead let's than go. Dan, Just right? slightly. Maybe slide rule. <laughs> so. Just slightly. Uh, and uh, I have just had the most incredible fortune of working with incredible people across industries. Uh, this is my fourth CEO role. Uh, the first one was with a ride-sharing company in very early days of Uber, and that was unfortunately sold to Enterprise. I cried, uh, was very passionate about that business, uh, and then was with a company called Abra Auto Body and Collision, an incredible, fantastic, talented group of individuals. Uh, and then uh, that business was sold to our biggest competitor, uh, and then most recently a company called Ritchie Brothers, which is publicly traded, and it's in the space, it's a marketplace uh, that, that uh, transacts used uh, industrial equipment and automotive. So always there's some kind of very technical component to the and things that I do. And distributed service organizations, though, each to one degree or another, correct? Very distributed, very global, but the thing that they all have in common is incredible teams of people, talented individuals that make these things happen. It doesn't just happen, it doesn't happen because you and I sit in a room and sure. talk. It happens because of all of you, the passion for the customer, all of these businesses have that in common and the celebration of our people, our customers. I'm here to support that, to learn from all of you, uh, and uh, to help this incredible business. I remember getting the call, and I had never heard of Convergent. Sure. 
And uh, I remember the very first page in the presentation was, we are convergent. And it was about culture. Mm -hmm. And it just took me completely by surprise because people don't talk like that unless you're people like me and people like you and people like Dan and people like in this organization that understand the greatness of a business is its people. Uh, and those people and what they're willing to do for customers. It was just so incredible. And then when I found out about our potential, where we've been and where we are and where we're going, um, really, yeah. truly my lucky day to get that call. And, and it's, it's, I look back a decade ago, we were $300 million. We had a plan at that point. Tony Varco, I always tell the story, came into my office. I was there a few days and said, hey, we need a new goal. I was thinking about $700 million. And I, I thought this was like just, oh, okay, kind of casual. $700 million, fine, right? And I went, two months later, I was presenting our goal of $700 million. I had no idea how we were <laughs> going to get $700 million. By, Mind you, we beat $700 million. The goal was by 2017 to achieve that. Here we are, $2.5 billion last year. Uh, I was talking to Mike Duncan, who led our global accounts. He's retiring in March. And we were talking about how it's legitimately achievable that our company will scale to $8, $10 billion in the years to come. And having someone at the helm now that will really be able to blend the technology with the scale that we have and bring it all together from a process standpoint to make it easier for you, our colleagues, to service our customers, to be our customer's best service provider, to make it easier for you to transact and just do the jobs and the work that you need to do. I just think that if you take the scale that we have with the emerging technologies that are out there, continue to raise the game, right? And open the gap between us and our nearest competitors, which are far and, and few between them, that the upside is it's unlimited, right? It is that much of an opportunity. It's incredible. When people talk about things, again, I'm a geeky engineer, right? So you hear about things like AI and its applications. Like, can you think about a better, we're in the security space Thanks. and we can unlock the power of AI in a way that people aren't even thinking about. So talk about the first couple of months and, and what we're going to do and what we hope to achieve. So Ken has made it his goal for me never to be home, which is fine because I should have explained that. <laughs> that's, my, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's your life. That's my life. Uh, I'm always on the road. Uh, made easier. I have two children. Uh, one lives and works in New York City for his first job and my baby left for college. Uh, recently in St. Louis, Missouri, great school. Uh, but for that reason, there's no reason for me to rush home and I'm going to be traveling. We're starting in Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Poor, Sydney, Sydney, Melbourne, Melbourne, and then come back and, and, and then right to, we'll come to Chicago. We have a, listen, I, when I joined Convergent a decade ago, we were 30 locations, the United States, uh, Alberta, and Fort McMurray, and there were might a couple other little locations in Toronto. It took all year, and but I was able to get around all. I don't know that it's possible to literally get to every conversion location now, north of 200 around the world. We're in you know six of the continents now, and uh, you know it, it's going to be hard. But what we're going to do over the few, next few months is spend as much time meeting colleagues, meeting with customers. We've got the Unite meeting in March in Orlando. We'll meet uh, over a thousand colleagues there, followed up by in Las Vegas by the uh, the ISC meeting in in the middle of April. Great chance to meet a bunch of colleagues and importantly a lot of customers there. And then having Ann travel around, whether it be to Asia, to Latin America, to Europe, to the different regions, the United States and Canada, to meet with you, to hear what's on your mind, to hear what's concerns you, what you love about the company, what you love about the culture, and just listen right, and learn, and I think it'll be a, a, an awesome opportunity over the next few months to, to work together as, as you get to, to come up to speed. And just, you know, from a, from a pure, you know, people ask me, so is it a transition? Listen, we've made this really simple. And as of today is our CEO, right? And that's, it's really clear, you know, if any, not that I get involved in a lot of decisions per se, right. but people come and they want opinions, they want insights. It'll be awesome to work with Ann. And, you know, Dan and I have worked together for uh, the past decade, and you know, I'm, I hope to have the similar relationship you and I that, and the success that we've been able to build together as an organization, built on the culture and the values and beliefs that were, you know, formed these 22, 23 years ago. Now it's it's incredible, 
and the continuity. And that's I think, has served us incredibly well and certainly look to the future and be here to support Ann and to work with you in any way that uh, is, is possible to help to transition, help you come up to speed on, uh, you know, on the, the industry, on the technology. Dan would like to say in the early days, you know, we know you can do the job from a technical standpoint. It's really the culture and learning the culture and learning all of our leaders. And, and certainly, I wish I knew all 10,000 of our colleagues. I don't. Uh, but, you know, I want, uh, I want Anne to meet as many of them as, you, as possible so that you get a great feel for the organization and what we're, you know, what's so unique and so amazing about our organization. So, I, and I'm so fortunate to be here. I think it's very telling that we're actually starting the tour in Singapore and then Kuala Lumpur and then Australia. I think it's telling for the global organization that we are that we don't even catapult into Chicago no. uh, for the first month. Right. Uh, and then we're coming in, but I think it's fair to say, like, the culture is based on a legacy and a longevity. Dan is a huge, obviously, and Greg, huge mm -hmm. fiber of the be of this business. So yeah. are you. And I'm fortunate to kind of take the baton and Carry have you guys forward, right? uh, with me all the way. So I'm uh, grateful to be here and really excited uh, to meet all of you. And I'll look in as much as I can join and be with you. And, you know, let me just close by saying, you know, thank you. Thank you to every colleague that has made this past decade as incredible as it's been. Listen, they, so many colleagues still that have made Convergence since day one, in the earliest of days of Convergent, the, the unique and special and amazing organization that we are. And, you know, the, the years to come, it'll be awesome to, to help support and to watch and to see what next amazing things we're going to achieve. And certainly wish everyone the very best and my deepest thanks for all of your help and support. So. And welcome. Thank welcome you. Aboard. What a pleasure all to be best. here. All Thank right. you. Great stuff. See you all soon. Be well.